and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be I'll be taking a look at the uh, Waypoints add-on. Uh, now it is missing its like thumbnail texture here, so that's a little bit concerning. Uh, hopefully that's a mistake on Minecraft's end somehow, but uh, yeah. I don't know how I've not already reviewed this, because when I, when I uh, consider an add-on to be reviewed, I consider how useful it is in survival, and this seems like a very useful add-on in survival. I guess, guess the reason why I didn't review when it first came out, maybe because it might not be the most interesting add-on to take a look at, or the longest video, or a long video. Um, but I am literally scraping the bottom of the barrel right now because we've had two weeks in a row where we've had where we've not really had many interesting add-ons released and I I um I am struggling for content. I even took a bit of a break and I'm still like a couple days break uh to just like recharge my batteries, just not playing Minecraft, just relaxing. And I'm still struggling. Okay, so you get a waypoint device and you have the book. We open the book. Uh, we can be created and edited using waypoint device. You can you receive if you ever lose this item. You are also able to craft it. Check the recipe book in the crafting table. So if I come here, I go way, 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 no way. What? That's not good. Okay, you can craft it. Because the only craftable item that with Ray in it is Wayfinder Armor Trim. So, yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Alright, click the device to open the uh, menu. Here you can create waypoints or cycle through waypoints to either teleport or edit them. Waypoints have 15 different colors and 15 different icons, as well as custom names. So if I... You... Oh, there we go, there we go. So... Uh, if I go here and I right click... Oh, I can... Create... Create... Hello? Oh, there you go, you punch it. So, I'll make... So, let's have a look at the colours. So, we've got these different colours. Let's make it purple. Icon. So, let's have it house for home. You need it. So, you can change it anywhere. Just open it now. And you create. Waypoint name. Boom. Submit. Then uh, you have the little house icon there, and the, the, it's got like a bit of a purple beam. It can be a bit hard, a bit difficult to see. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can see the bit. Uh, well, there we go. The beam is a bit buggy. It flashes in and out. Oh, I think it's supposed to do that because it's doing that at regular intervals. So, uh, yeah, that's actually pretty good. You can see it from quite far away. Um, can I see it from the top of the mountain? God, the flying with this uh, armor is not great. Oh yeah, you can still see it. You can't see it through blocks, but if you got a clear line of sight, you can pretty much see that uh, uh, from where it's anyway, which is pretty, which is really good. The best thing is how like uh, beacons aren't uh, really good for this. So apparently, you can also teleport to them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if I go to list, no, I don't want. So save, delete, ah, uh, teleport. So you can teleport to them now. I think that's a little bit OP. That would be cool. It would be it would be a good idea if you could like go into creative. So go to game mood one 
and go to the creative inventory and get out the like a settings tool or or something it's just like a way waypoint or waypoints way yeah now so there's no like waypoints tool or settings or anything so uh, it would be cool if you could de deactivate that because I can understand why uh, you do not want to have people just f freely be able to create these and just like teleport between them. Um, but yeah, other than that, yeah, it's, it seems decent. So let's do, hold on, I want to go to the never. And wait for this to load. I'm gonna put the drink. Oh. No, I don't wanna go back through. There we go. So we go over here. You can like set one at your ne at the Never Fortress, so you'd be like, okay. Nah. And create. Color well, can be red. Icon that can be uh, this one, I guess. Is oh, and then you can create that, and then never. You can have one for your never fortress, and then you can have one. You can have one for your never portal. And and this is like the main reason you want to do this, because otherwise you'd have to like note down the coordinates. So create uh, this one can be purple because that's the thing. Icon, portal, create, portal. And then you have the map there. Now, uh, what are you, oh, something that, wait, so going back to the whole teleporting thing, um, what uh, you could do is, uh, you know, add the settings and you could do, you could have it disabled, or you uh, could uh, make it uh, so that. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh -huh. so yeah, this does work between dimensions. Anyway, so like I was saying, so you can make it so that uh, you could just disable it in the settings, or you can make it so that you need an ender pill to be able to teleport. That. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, make it say that you need to use ender bills to teleport or uh well so uh, you can make it so that um I don't know. Uh oh yeah, so you could yeah, you can make it so that you could disable it, you could uh, make it so that uh that you need ender pills, or you could make it uh, uh so that instead of teleporting you, it just tells you the coordinates of where um, of where that uh, waypoint is. Actually, can you? If I go to this, yeah, it, yeah. So you, you can see it. So in so it, yeah, with that one instead, of teleport it would place it with coordinates. You punch it, and it would uh, give you the coordinates for that. Uh, um. For that uh, waypoint, uh, and whether it was in the Never or in the Overworld, hey, you could even make it so that uh, you you could change it between the Never and the Overworld. So, it's like, oh, this is coordinates for it's in the Never. This is coordinates for it's in the Overworld. And the uh, uh, all that. But yeah, other than that, yeah, solid add-on. I don't know if it's 
Uh, yeah, I, uh, there are legit uses for it. Uh, I could see why you would want it added on uh, to your world. I just think it could be improved somewhat. So it's not uh, so it's not too OP because I do think the just the ability to freely teleport between two of them is a bit OP. Especially because you know you can go through dimensions. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you think uh, uh, it's uh, good? Do you think it's is OP being able to freely teleport between the two uh, between multiple waypoints? And do you think that, uh, or do you think it's not OP or what? Let me uh, yeah, any thoughts you have down in the uh, let me know down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh,